And good afternoon, Southeast Texas. Welcome to our 12 News Live special coverage of the total solar eclipse, what we're calling the Great American Eclipse. I'm Jordan Williams alongside Patrick Vaughn. We're coming to you live from the Event Center in downtown Beaumont. Patrick, a little cloudy, but you thought it would be like this. It's Monday of last week. Yeah. And we are still hoping for the potential for a few breaks uh, in the clouds so that we might get a few peaks. But right now, looking at satellite, it doesn't look very promising right now. You're looking at our live uh, Skycam shot from downtown Beaumont, just outside the event center. We're here with our friends from the Beaumont Public Library System. We'll be visiting more with them. If you're home watching right now, maybe watching on your phone at work, Come on down. They're going to be here until 3 o'clock this afternoon. There are lots of events going on. Uh, even if you can't, look to the sky and see the eclipse because it is kind of obscured at this point. It is at this time. And again, there's still the potential that there could see a couple of breaks in the clouds, and that would give us just a glimmer of uh, or a, a peek at it. That would be nice. We're out here. Patrick's, Patrick's been staring up into the sky, but I know we also have some of the weather graphics pulled up from back at the station. Yeah. And we can share it. This is what you call the visible satellite. Right. And I wish I could just show you the last hour, but uh, you can see extensive cloud cover this morning. A few breaks maybe off towards our southwest in Chambers County. Uh, the showers, though, uh, that we had earlier this morning also have appeared to uh, move off towards the uh, north and east. So There we got live radar right there. Yeah, that's moving on off towards the north and east. So. Uh, unfortunately, inland southeast Texas, the lakes area, it's just not going to be something you're going to be able to see. The only hope is mainly Jefferson Orange and Chambers County is the way it looks right now. One of the questions that, that I have, if you don't have the eclipse glasses, which we have some we can show you. By the way, here's the, the larger picture there across you go. Texas. There Let you me go. tell you for a second, I've just been seeing all in my Facebook feed this afternoon, friends that went west of Austin out there toward the hill country, they're getting sun right now. In Dallas? Um, Dallas that, is looking good. Yeah, San Angelo, Childress, back up over to northern uh, sections of Arkansas. Yeah, they're going to be have a they're going to have a great show. They're going to be in totality this afternoon because it's showtime for the next hour or so as as the uh, the sun and the moon that key alignment that leads to this total solar eclipse makes its way across the path of totality here in the next hour or so. You know, if we keep this on visible satellite, we may be able to see the uh, shadow. Really? A visible satellite, yes. Oh of my the, goodness. This, that's associated with the eclipse. If you're watching here in, in Southeast Texas with us uh, as we broadcast live from downtown Beaumont, are you expecting it to get any darker? It could get a little darker. A little? A little bit. But a it's, little? It's pretty gray out there right now, so. Okay. Well, we mentioned that we're out here with all of our friends from the uh, Beaumont Library System. Meteorologist Jeff Gerber is here at the Event Center as well as we continue our live broadcast. Uh, Jeff, tell us some of the things that, that you have going on inside and outside here. <laughs> yeah, right now we are standing outside because there have been some breaks in the overcast and you can see through the clouds, you can actually see uh, the sun as it's being covered by the moon, but you got to have these on. This is what we've been looking at them with. And if we look over, we have a group of ladies here I've been standing with, and they, every time the sun breaks out a little bit, and it's just for a few seconds. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. I saw it. Did you see for just a little bit? I saw it a little bit. Yeah. And then the clouds took over. Yeah. It looked like a moon pile with a bite in it. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And well, hopefully we'll see it again. It's, they look like they're breaking up some. So. Yeah. We're gonna see. We got 142 is the is the to, is the the fullest that well, we're gonna see. So see. we still got a little ways to go. But you can see yeah, outside. I, I was so excited. I started crying. Oh. Really? <laughs> well, hopefully we'll see it a little bit later when it's even more covered. So. Well, we'll wait for that. Yeah. But you can see a lot of folks out here waiting to try to see, waiting for those few brief moments when the sky opens up a little bit. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that. We did see some, and the last we saw, it was about halfway covered uh, by the uh, sun. So we'll continue to watch, or halfway covered by the moon, we'll continue to watch for that. Now, inside the event center, we'll go inside there in just a little bit. A lot's going on as far as some games. Uh, they have on uh, the national feed where we're watching, the, you can watch the eclipse a little bit, that from around the country. And also, we have a booth set up inside where we have a little chroma key, a little, a little weather uh, booth set up. You can go and stand in front of the chroma key and act like a weather person. And like I said, uh, a lot of folks in there also enjoying uh, the eclipse, even though uh, we can't see it right now. A lot of people out here having a good time. A lot of people are excited that they're at least getting a little glimpse of it here and there. 
And Jeff, that's kind of one of the magic things. He was telling us earlier, you know, if you get that one break in the clouds, they were able to see it. Patrick and I grabbed our glasses and, and went running. You know, you got to have the special ISO certified glasses. Don't do this with, with regular sunglasses or anything crazy like Welders that. Welders glasses won't work either. We, we've heard about that. Um, and one of the things that's, that's interesting with this is until the clouds clear, I mean, all you see is Total, total darkness. Well, exactly. They're, so, they're very strong. They, they're they're we very wanna strong. We want to protect our eyes. One of the things that, that we've shared in, in, in the weeks leading up to this is you may not feel immediate eye damage if you try to risk it, but right. the consequences are just you know too dangerous to, to play around For with. For the rest of your life. Yeah, really, really. Yeah. You know, the kids in Southeast Texas have spent weeks preparing and learning about this big day. Daybreak anchor Tia Johnson got the chance to hang out with some students and their teachers as they prepared to witness science in action. I'm looking forward to see how dark it's gonna get. Kids in Southeast Texas classrooms. Uh, I'm just trying to experience it, like just see how it's gonna be. Excited for today's total solar eclipse. Who can tell me what is going to happen? Whether they heard about it at school. How did you hear about that? Uh, TikTok. Or on social media, the Great American Eclipse provides a visual learning experience. I can still kind of see a glowing ring around her. That is the corona. And Mrs. Alberton's class at Silsby Elementary, Busy Bees. Okay, about 15 more seconds. Learning, drawing, and acting out the solar eclipse. We love the light bulb moments, that aha, you know, that's that makes our day makes our whole year. Students at Abraham Lincoln Middle School in Port Arthur. I think it's most important because we read about a lot of things and the kids research things. Are also seeing science in action. And this is the one time they can actually experience it. An experience that's sure to amaze. It's gonna shock them just as much as it's gonna shock me. And though the moment will pass by in minutes. And the last solar eclipse that happened, all you guys were babies. The memory will last a lifetime. I wonder like, what be like people are gonna think like what just happened, you know? It's gonna be very crazy. Tia Johnson, 12 News. All right, Tia Johnson with those students and their teachers who, as we said, Patrick, have spent so much time preparing for today. Right, and a lot of them are here today and it's basically a festival in, in downtown Beaumont. It's all about science. It is. Science celebrating, uh, is, that's what's going on. I understand we got some live pictures coming in from Mexico uh, and the path of totality. This, these are images that NASA is sharing. Mazatlan in Mexico. Looks like they may be uh, readjusting the uh, the camera images there. One of the things one of the things that they, they have to do as it goes into total darkness and then starts emerging, you're putting filters on the lens, right. you're re, you know, adjusting, there it is. Just spectacular. So what we're seeing is the edge of the sun, the corona that normally you there know you can't see. There it is. There and it it's is. It's moving in. Mazatlan, Mexico. This is live. Uh, really. Look at the prominence. Do you see the red? That's prominence coming in the corona. Oh, and, that's and tell wonderful. Tell us what that is. Well, the corona is that uh, is basically the atmosphere of the sun, and the moon is now covering the sun exactly, and those red spiky. Uh, looks are the little filaments. Those are the prominence coming out of the uh, sun, and that's filled with magnetic radiation. That's fantastic. It is. Look at that. You can see the prominence in the atmosphere of the of the uh, sun. So that's in Mexico, and of course we've been expecting this to then make the path, the shadow that will now move over across the across the U.S.-Mexico border, Mexico. and then moving Texas. up uh, all the way southwest through the hill country moving, I guess, northeast across right. Texas. Hold this. Okay. So again, because the Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun and the moon is almost 293,000 miles away from the Earth, if you look up in the sky, they're, when they cover, they're, because of the relative size and the they distance, look the same they size. look the exact same. So that's why the moon is able to just cover the sun in totality and through central texas okay it's perfect alignment we've been can we pull up the weather graphics really quickly we've been watching the satellite images and you know the the whole beauty of doing this thing live as we put through the loop here patrick's watching south of liberty maybe south south of the highway 90 corridor um southern southern liberty county maybe even northern chambers county you're starting to see a bit of breaks yeah there. you may be able to see it there right now we're socked in here in beaumont unfortunately and what we've got, if we look at our, our live sky cam from here, 
these are low clouds, exactly. which, are, which are challenging to, to, to get through. And here's the view at the, at the 12 new studios. We're looking yeah, north of, there, not really peaks of, of, of sun. And this is just outside the Beaumont Event Center here downtown as we again look at live pictures. And right now, we're not getting no, those peaks. Look good. We're don't not look getting good. those peaks. Yeah. All right, Patrick, we'll visit more with All you right. in just a bit. We'll stay with this image for just a second because we are, again, hoping for a break in the clouds. You never know if that's gonna pull through or not, but we're gonna be with you live for the next hour or so as we gear up. Patrick, uh, Patrick's walking in front of our camera over there. Sorry about that. All right, I've got Paul Eddy with me. He is from the Beaumont Public Library System. We mentioned earlier um, all of the work that you guys did to prepare for today. Talk about what you've put together for, for the kids and, and families. Uh, we, we really tried to include a lot of the eclipse information um, over the last several weeks, we've been having a lot of people come into the libraries wanting to get information, to get, um, you know, th the glasses and things like that. Right. So uh, here today we have had several different tables that we have STEM-related STEM activities that deal with the eclipse. Um, and some of them on the level for the kids so that they understand what shadows are and how they work and, and all of that. So we tried to incorporate all that into our, our curricula here. And this is a perfect opportunity. You're here until three this afternoon. So if people are watching the broadcast right now and thinking, I wish I'd come down there, come on down. It's free. It's a wonderful opportunity. Maybe you've got the kids home today uh, in, you know, at, because of the big American eclipse. Uh, it's, it's a great thing to come on down here. We've got a lot of people down. Uh, we've actually had a couple of um, um, school buses come by from Silsby. They came in and are doing some things with us. So yeah, if you're at home and you want to come out and it's not really raining very much, it's it's nice out here. You got and, some food? Uh, got some food, there's trucks out here. Um, and we hope that everybody will come down. These are some live pictures. You can see some of the people that have gathered. Um, you know, it, it really is an opportunity to celebrate science and remember how big this amazing world is. Um, and, and these phenomenon don't happen often. No, they don't. And the last time we had one here, uh, 2017. 2017, London, right? Um, we had thousands of people come out, and it was just phenomenal how um, how it all worked and and what the the kids can learn, what adults can learn. Um, so we're we're very happy. My understanding is the next one that includes Texas is 2045. 2045. Yeah. Um, 2044. There's parts of the U.S. and then 2045, it's Texas. Ah, okay. Something like that. I think I think that been reading up on my eclipse trivia, <laughs> so we'll we'll have to double check on that. Here's another look of. Paul, thank you so much, Paul Eddy from the city of Beaumont and the Beaumont Library System uh, visiting with us. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, right now we're again looking live just outside the event center in downtown Beaumont and you get a feel for what uh, what the skies are. Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn stepping back into frame as well. And we're looking at a uh, visible satellite over towards, uh, say, Mexico. And you can actually see the shadow on weather satellite right now, moving through Mexico, heading into Texas. You know, a lot of research happens on today. We've been hearing about things NASA does, mm -hmm. all of those cool things, um, because the scientists can really hone in on some of the theories, some of the things that they only get to study when you have an eclipse. Right. Okay. Um, we talk about what, what it's gonna be like to be out on the road during this. You've probably seen the flashing signs. I mean, pull off, don't be driving, don't be driving and trying to and stare up. And, oh, and, and just imagine if you put on the blinders. Oh, yeah, sure. So, you know, TxDOT was really serious about making sure that you took this, this day um, with some significance right. and prepared and treated it accordingly. 12 News reporter Kyle Orr talked to the officials about their advice for staying safe on the road. Herville is going to be for lack of a better term, a wild place. Will Young is a member and former president of the Astronomical Society of Southeast Texas. He says the massive amount of people flocking to the line of totality for a clear view of the eclipse has led to disaster declarations in some Texas counties. The further south you are on that line, the better chances you have. Bell, Kerr, and Travis counties are a few declaring a state of emergency. And out of this world hotel prices to go along with it. We're going to be overwhelmed. While many Southeast Texans are staying put April 8th, TxDOT says that a partial eclipse is enough to convince some drivers to look up instead of forward. 
have a plan, know that there will be a lot more traffic. Some people may be urged to pull over. We ask people not to do that. Tanya Avila says pulling off to the side of the road to witness a once in a dark moon event isn't worth your life. There's plenty of rest stops um, in the Beaumont district where people can go and park safely and watch the eclipse. Avila also says to keep your regular sunglasses on until you're off the road. And we also encourage people not to wear the solar eclipse glasses while driving because it is dangerous. While she's excited to see the eclipse with her own eyes, Avila stresses the importance of maintaining situational awareness and arriving alive. And I think it's historic and I think people should enjoy it and have fun with it, plan ahead. Enjoy, have fun, plan ahead. Some really good reminders uh, for all of us here today. That's exactly right, and again, don't forget these. We've already seen a few people trying to take peeks, you know, because the thinking the clouds are so thick here, we can you can grab an image, um, and you may be able to see what looks almost like the, the crescent moon at this point. It does, it does right now. We're about going? maybe halfway or two thirds, would you say? It is 1.15 here central time as we broadcast live. We're about 30 minutes away. 30 minutes about. away from what will be peak eclipse for us here in this corner of Texas. 92.6% to be precise. If you're watching with us, I keep asking, try to pin this down. You don't think that you're going to expect the, the overall darkness to come down It's much. hard to say. We're pretty dark right now. It's awfully gray out here. We may see a little reduction in, uh, it may get darker here. Okay, sure. Here, here are uh, again, our live pictures. I, I'm still seeing a wonderful darkness on uh, visible satellite over Mexico and uh, now moving into Texas. And if you zoom in to uh, Texas, it does look like we are getting a little darker. And here's the live picture from uh, another place in Mexico, Torreon, Mexico. Where is that? I'm not sure where that is. I don't know. Get the, get the Google map out. But these are live pictures that NASA is going to be providing, and we're obviously expecting some of this um, to continue as it, uh, these images to continue as it comes across Texas here in the next, what, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, and it's looking real good up towards Dallas right now, just west of I-35. That's great. Great news. Maybe Abilene. For all the eclipse chasers who uh, spread out across Texas. Yeah, it is definitely darkening into southwest Texas on satellite right now, so yeah. Okay, we'll pull, up, we'll pull up some of the weather graphics here in just a bit. We know so many people have been excited, but perhaps no one's more excited than members of the Astronomical Society of Southeast Texas. We understand our own Carrie Cooper used to be their president. Did I hear that? I've known Carrie for 20 some odd years, and I'm just finding this out today. New details with you live on the big broadcast here. Well, anyway, meteorologist Jeff Gerber actually talked with some of the other members uh, about how they were preparing for today. And literally what you're seeing is the solar system in motion. On April 8th, people across the U.S. will be able to witness the Great American Eclipse. In that moment, you're literally watching it happen in real time. And it's a life-altering experience. Will Young with the Astronomical Society of Southeast Texas says while Southeast Texas won't be in the direct path of totality, we'll experience about 90-95% of the eclipse. The shadows on the ground are going to get weird. At that much of an eclipse, shadows become fuzzy. They don't become, you know, tight anymore. They become fuzzy. But of course, a big part of experience in this phenomenon is safety. Young says you have to have certified glasses. Backup glasses like welding glasses or even expensive sunglasses are not enough. Uh, if you're looking at these glasses, somewhere on these will be printed a number. It's an ISO number. And that's the number you really want to make sure is on these things to make sure they're safe. This will be the last chance to see a full eclipse in the U.S. for 20 years. So it's an experience you won't want to miss out on. It's a pretty important phenomenon. And again, it's the last one until the 2040s. So, you know, uh, 20 years from now, you can be doing the same thing. But where will we be in 20 years? Who knows? All right, Jeff Gerber with that analysis from the Astronomical Society of Southeast Texas. Next one, 2044, so we've got a, I won't be alive. Oh, Patrick, don't say <laughs> such things. Don't say such things. Let's bring up the weather graphics. Patrick's been talking about the, the satellite and the breaks in the clouds. This is the local view, and you oh, can look, see. Oh, look, last few frames is getting darker here. It, there is a reduction in uh, brightness. Of, see how it's getting darker? Yeah, this is what we call visible satellite. Yes, visible satellite. Only it's, works during the day. Only, it's taking pictures of the clouds. And uh, as you can see, there, there are a few breaks out there. 
I've seen some across maybe Mid County. Yeah, and back Chambers, Chambers County. and uh, Liberty, Liberty County. County. Sorry, Tyler. Sorry, sorry, Jasper, Hardin, and well, you may get something in Southern Hardin County, but a lot of showers and storms. Uh, Hardin County back over into Jasper, Newton, and Tyler counties north of the Triangle. So. And you if, see the view north of Houston. Yeah. We've got rain across the uh, 59 yeah. corridor, 45 there. That's well. all moving northwards. So. Okay. so if you're watching here, you know, of course, it's southeast Texas, so we track the eclipse. So we also have to track some rain. So that's that's what we've got going on the Storm Tracker radar. And this is the image we were waiting to see. So we're going to watch this as the regional satellite, visible satellite loop that started this morning, taking you through 1230 here. Yeah, and it looks it. pretty good back up towards Dallas. It's almost like the clouds disappear because it's so dark. Is that what we're what, look out well, there over that's, Austin? That let's see. Here we go. There's the loop into the loop. Yep. Yeah. It's getting darker. That's pretty neat to watch. You can actually see the eclipse on weather satellite. That's fascinating <laughs> yeah. to me. But again, Dallas, northwest of Austin, back over to San Angelo, pristine conditions as far as uh, the sky. We're so glad that that friends across Texas are getting it. Yeah. Um, better, I was going to say, we've got Jeff Gerber that we want to bring back into the conversation here. Jeff's with us at the event center, uh, downtown Beaumont again. Uh, Jeff, tell us what you're seeing. I know you've had a few peaks uh, at the eclipse. Right, yeah. Right now, look, look at everybody looking. We're getting a peak right now. Right now, we're seeing a little break in the, in the cloud cover. Yep. And look at all the folks getting very excited. You can, you can see it for a few seconds and then it disappears. But uh, we've been seeing this uh, throughout the last half an hour or so. These little breaks come by. Everybody holds up their glasses real quick. You see a quick maybe five second, 10 second glimpse at it and then it goes behind the clouds again. But there are some glimpses at it. It's not completely covered where we're not seeing anything. There are glimpses at the sun from time to time where people throw on their glasses, check it out, and then it goes away. So every time we see these little lighter parts in the clouds, that usually means a little bit of a break where you can see enough of it that you can glimpse it. And uh, so folks out here continue to watch. We're waiting for one of those breaks. It just went behind the clouds. Looks like we'll see cloud cover for a little bit longer. I see another break though might be coming up here. These little areas where you're seeing a little lightness in the clouds, uh, when that sun gets over, under, over one of those, that's when we see a little break. So everybody kind of sits there, it's kind of playing peekaboo with us as we wait. Uh, when you're waiting in between the clouds, people are inside the event center, lots of stuff going on there. Uh, we have a booth in there. We can be a, a junior weather caster and you stand in front of the chroma key. There's games inside the event center. Uh, a lot of school children here uh, checking out everything. Uh, and a lot of adults here too, uh, waiting for those breaks in the overcast, little bitty breaks, like I said, uh, five second, three second breaks where you can look real quick and see the eclipse going on. So we'll continue to watch out here. Uh, and uh, like I said, we're just hoping for those little breaks. We see them from time to time. All right, Jeff, we'll be visiting more with you throughout the uh, big broadcast here. Thank you so much. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about is what exactly is a total solar eclipse and exactly how much of it w are we going to be able to see in Southeast Texas? Patrick put a story together so we could look at that. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. April's total eclipse will be visible from Texas to Maine. People who are in the path of totality or the area where the moon's shadow completely covers the sun, like in parts of North Texas, will experience a total solar eclipse. That's when the sky will darken as if it were dawn or dusk. Here in Southeast Texas, we will not experience a total eclipse, but it'll be close. The April eclipse will be the last total solar eclipse visible from the United States until 2044. All right, we are back live. A familiar face joining us here at the event center. Former Daybreak anchor, anchor Tracy Kinnick. Thanks for letting me come on. Again. Do you know how to hold the microphone? I, I think so. Okay. I think I still know how to hold Well, Tracy's in her new role uh, working for the city of Beaumont, and we've been talking about what the Beaumont Library System did today 
to make this such a magical science filled afternoon. Yeah, you know, and we have a big city bus over there from Silsby that came out and brought a lot of students. And the thing is, we know that this isn't going to happen again for what another 20, 20 years. years. So we got to make the most of it. And yep. you want to party, you want to do these types of things with, the, with a lot of people gathered around. So a lot of people are gathering in front. They have their lawn chair set out and uh, they're just kind of enjoying the moment. Of course, we have a lot of clouds. So did what you hear? We did, did you hear Jeff was talking about how, you know, they keep getting these five second, five, you know, 30 yeah. second no, break. No, we all run out. Yeah. He, he would come in and say, hey, Tracy, there's a break. We run out, put on our glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just kind of a fun thing to, to get to enjoy it. Now, we do have a few things inside. So if it does start to, oh, Patrick says he thinks. Patrick he, says he can see it. starting to see it. So, um, but we have a, about 2,000 of these glasses. So if you want to come and get some for, you know, the next time if you're going to be around or whatever, just to have them and to come see what we can see. We have 2,000 of these free things uh, laid out. We also have a lot of crafts inside yeah. so that the kiddos can kind of see what it's like to have. Um, Let me move this out of the way here. To have the sun bring that total eclipse and see the shadows that start to come. So they have animals where you can actually draw around the animals. You can watch as the lights come through those front windows there of the event center and see the shadows that it casts. And then it's starting to get a little bit cooler, isn't it? Does it feel a little bit cooler to you out here? It is. One of the things we were just talking about, I don't know, okay, we've got our, our feedback up, so we'll keep watching here um, while, you, while you tell us about some of the crafts. Yeah. There may be another peak. We were talking about these brief breaks in the clouds, just enough to, to get a view. So why don't we keep the live pictures up and Tracy and I'll continue and talking yeah. about some of the crafts. So and also some we have some chalk art in there where they can draw the eclipse and then some informational activities as well that explains what is a lunar eclipse, what is a total solar eclipse, those types of things for the kids so that they can kind of understand the science behind it. Of course Patrick came in and gave a great presentation earlier uh, talking about it with a little PowerPoint so a lot of people were able to watch that as well. And then we have fun things. Uh, there's a guy in there that from the library system um, who you has He's fold, yeah, folding these. I don't know. If, have you ever seen something like this where it's like folding of the pages? I don't know that people can see this right now, but it's a it's a book, and he'll actually fold the pages of the book to. Um, there we go. I don't go. know if you can tell that this is my name. He spelled Tracy inside this book, and um, he's doing different things like this for the kids to enjoy. So a lot of just different fun things. Of course, this says the Great American Eclipse because you want to keep it for posterity to show this is the moment that we had this. So. So y'all are here till y'all are here till three. We're going to be out afternoon. here until three this afternoon. Yeah, so come by and enjoy. We have some food trucks here. Just trying to make it a Getting fun hungry. event because, yeah, <laughs> something like this doesn't come around all the time. It is one twenty-seven. We're, we're we're watching Tracy, some of the kids out here. Perhaps we'll visit more in just a bit. I know Patrick wants to join the conversation yeah. as well, so we're going to bring him back in here. Patrick, one of the things I was going to ask you is what you just saw. Um, what what it, what was it like out there? Well. We are getting breaks in the clouds, and it only lasts for two, three, four, five seconds. But I would say 90% of the moon is over the sun right now. And that's very close. You've been talking about what it would look like starting at around 140, 142. About 142. It's 127 right now. Close, so. And we're going to get about four minutes. Is that right? Some three to four minutes is well, we, when it will be the total. At least the highest coverage. Yeah. 90, it's, it's not going crossed. dark here. It's, it's not going dark. It's not going to be 100%, but it's going to right. be 92.6%. Exactly. All right. right. The interesting thing is, is because of this, the phenomenon, I guess, it just was fascinating I me. Mean, not only does the temperature drop, but even the animals start to think, like they were saying bats could start flying around and that type you of thing. That? Have you seen that? I could see that if we had caves in Central Texas, but we don't. Yeah. So. <laughs> Kind of but just the point. whole phenomenon that it, it really messes even with the the animals because they don't know what is this crazy thing that's happening in the sky right now. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> their clock alarm clocks off. off. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tracy, it's so good to see you it's again. So good we to see you already busy in your new role yep. with the city of Beaumont. We miss you, but we're uh, thanks for letting me. Ha happy come you're say still hi. in Beaumont. Yes. We got live pictures. We got to go. Yes. Uh, sure uh, live pictures coming oh, in. This is this is from Russellville, Arkansas. Yeah, we're 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 further along than they are right now. I would say we're closer to about 85 90 percent and we only get these peaks these these break breaks in the clouds they're short-lived at least in beaumont it may be different over into southern uh, liberty county and back over to chambers county you may have more breaks and they may be uh, longer lasting uh particularly along the coastline of jefferson even jefferson county but uh unfortunately from hardin uh county northward through the lakes area sorry 
Well, thank goodness for the live feeds. NASA's just switching to a different view. Dallas. There you go. There it is. That's the shot from Dallas. That's we're right now. I would say we're about close to Dallas. How dark do you think it is there? Certainly darker than here. Yeah, you can see it on, on weather satellite. It's already uh, darkening up across the Lone Star State. And you were telling us one of the things that's, that's really neat is when, if you're lucky to be in the path of totality, you can actually see stars if it's yes. clear enough. Yes, yes. Uh, fascinating, maybe, maybe fascinating. Maybe without the high clouds. The, the lights may even, the street lights may even come on. <laughs> Just like a good thunderstorm in, in, the, right, in the summer. Exactly. You know, the last solar eclipse that we saw here was back in 2017. Oh uh, yeah, 2017. And we're asking, how does this year's eclipse compare to the one back then? How might it compare to the next one coming up in 20 years or so? 12 News anchor Claydra Rhodes has the story. Millions of Texans are getting front row seats to a spectacular celestial event in April, a total solar eclipse. Many of us remember the last one that happened in August 2017, and according to NASA, this year's will be even more exciting. The first and most obvious reason, a wider, more populated path. 2017's path of totality ranged from 62 to 71 miles wide, with about 12 million people living inside the path. This time, the path is 108 to 122 miles wide, crosses right through the heart of our great state and over more densely populated areas. An estimated 31.6 million people live in the path this time. There will also be longer time in totality, up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds versus 2 minutes 42 seconds in 2017. In 2017, the sun was nearing solar minimum, a quieter time for our star. Now this year, the sun will be in our near solar maximum when the magnetic field is more active. So when the moment comes to see that breathtaking corona, viewers could see streamers and prominences, bright curls or loops coming off the sun. There's even a chance to see a coronal mass ejection like this one. The April eclipse is also providing NASA with several research opportunities that will build on what was studied in 2017. NASA's Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter will provide insights from the corona itself. There's no question this will be an historic event, and that's why we're proud to partner with the Beaumont Library System for a watch party at the event center. Join us for an eclipse watch party on 12 News Plus, YouTube, and Facebook. It's happening on Monday, April 8th from 1 to 2 p.m. And that, friends, is what you're watching right now, our live coverage of the Great American Eclipse, a total solar eclipse happening. And you saw the path of totality there that puts so many uh, parts of America in the dark zone. And, you know, the speed of the eclipse relative to, to the Earth is speeding up. So it's going at about 1,000 miles per hour now. As it gets to the higher latitudes, that shadow will be moving closer to 5,000. Okay. Interesting stuff. Yeah, that's why he's the, the pro in all things Eclipse. Let's show you some more live pictures. This is a side by side of what it looks like uh, here in Beaumont on the left. And I believe that is in Kerrville, kind of cut off, but that's Kerrville on the right. And you can see they should be uh, nearing totality there in central Texas. So yeah, we're about what? Uh, 10 minutes 10 here. minutes away from what we can see. OK, are we going to get a peek there? There it is. Okay, they're getting close. Oh, they're in totality in Kerrville. See what that? it looks like. Yeah. And we're socked in with clouds here. But Kerrville got, got some clearing. Yes, they did. That's really neat. Kerrville back up to Dallas and Abilene especially. Good news for My them. My sister up in Weatherford is probably enjoying this <laughs> celestial treat. Don't get excited. We've got birds flying in front of our camera here in downtown Beaumont. I thought, what was that? Oh, it's birds. Don't worry. Are Just, they confused is the question. Well, that is that is a, a legit question. Uh, did the lights just come on? They sure did. We just had the, the, some of the street lights come on here in downtown Beaumont, so it's not our imagination. It is indeed darker. Oh, are we going to get a break there? Okay, let's stay with this picture for just a second. Uh, is it close? It's trying so I'm gonna hard. I'm going to step out and look. Yep, We're zooming we got in. A, we got a break. All we right. got a break. Let's go peek. You can see the live pictures from Kerrville in downtown Beaumont. Yep, Patrick and I are taped, stepping down. Here it is. Okay, we're at about, what is that, 90%? We can see it. Wow. See it? This, I, I've got it, yeah. Can we see it on TV? I don't know. I'm going to come back and look now. Yeah, we can still see it. We need to put the, put the cover on. We're going to take the picture down because uh, you're going to put our Here special. It is. Uh, <laughs> We're getting close. What's the, right, what's the right word? Lens protector. 
on the camera. So you'll see it go dark for just a second as oh, well. Oh yeah, here in we're we're good okay. ninety percent coverage. All right, Patrick, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down the fort here for a second. Patrick is wandering about the event center grounds, as as meteorologists are apt to do. Um, we're switching out our, our camera feed so we can try and put uh, our special lens on it to give you some better live pictures there. So that's, what, that's what's happening here. Still about 10 minutes. These are live pictures from Dallas. It is an incredible, incredible thing to witness. And if you've got the glasses, friends, now is the time to, now is the time to step out if you're in Southeast Texas because we are getting some breaks in the clouds, just enough to see for just a couple of minutes. And then, in North Texas. Oh, I'm, we, I'm, I'm talking with our engineering team, trying to get you some pictures from downtown Beaumont, but I can tell you Patrick and I did witness it with, uh, <laughs> with glasses. I feel like we should zoom in on Patrick down here. Can you see, can we zoom in? Okay, Patrick, you're gonna have to come, come back at least in the center here. Jeff wants us to go to him. Well, that's what we do, it's a live show. Jeff Gerber is standing by on the other side of the event center. Jeff, what are you seeing there? I know we had breaks, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the kids are going crazy. We can still see it. It's still a little bit of a break. I swing around, everybody's here watching it. There's a bunch of folks screaming and hollering. Uh, this is something else. We are just a few minutes away from uh, the total that we're going to see. And we can still see it a little bit right now. So. It is something we're getting just enough of a break that we can actually see uh, the sun and the moon and the eclipse going on right now. A lot of folks excited about what's going on out here. Was that pretty cool or what? Did you guys like that? Yeah, yeah that was great, huh? Yeah. So yeah, I think we're I think we're due for another break. It looks like another break's coming. We got a cloud co coming, and then we'll see another break. So. You know, even though it's cloudy, we are seeing uh, the, the eclipse. Matter of fact, like I said, I think a big break, a big break's coming up here pretty quickly, and we're probably going to get a good, probably 30 seconds to a minute of seeing the eclipse. So uh, everybody's got their glasses, of course, and we're waiting for that next break. Here it comes, and uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's we're just a couple of seconds away, and that sun's going to be popping back out again. All right, you all ready? Here it comes again. Get your glasses on. It's plumbing again. All right, we're waiting. Here it comes. See, we're real close to seeing it again. But uh, gosh, there are hundreds of people out here. And the sun's just getting ready to break out once more again. And the uh, eclipse, it's right on the edge of the cloud. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, everybody's excited out here. Everybody, look, there it is, there it is. <laughs> so that's awesome. We are getting a little bit of a break that we could see it. So yeah, very cool. And I was worried it was gonna be clouded over, but we're definitely seeing it right now. It's coming out from behind the clouds. And uh, a very cool shot here in uh, Southeast Texas. Lots of folks screaming and yelling. <laughs> you can hear all the oohs and ahs and everybody looking at it. So yeah, hold on a second, I'm gonna look myself. Oh yeah, there's just a little bit left. And we are literally like three or four minutes away from uh, the time is going to be, at least as we'll much as we're going to see covered. But uh, yeah, everybody's having a great time out here. It's very exciting. Great, great one. Oh, wow. There it is. Great break. All right. I'm back with you as well, Jeff. It is really electric over there. I stepped around to see you in the crowd. And we'll keep these pictures coming up because you are at a prime location once we get the break there. To, to get these really incredible images. We're gonna zoom out because Patrick Vaughn is back with us as well here at the main desk, uh, overlooking the, the lawn at the event center. Patrick, come on, come back. We have to come up here for just a second. I'm, I'm looking, it's, there it is. We're at a good 90% right now. 90%? I would say so, yes. And here's the live pictures. There it is. We've got the special filter on, so it doesn't uh, damage any of the equipment or your eyes. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it there. Now I'm gonna go back and through. Yeah, these peaks are back and forth, back and forth. Well, brief breaks are good. 
we saw that it's happening. We get to see something. The street lights came on. It is. It is definitely darker. It is. Um, and we wondered how much we would be able to sense that and feel that. All right, there you go. There it is on uh, Skycam. That's right here, just outside our uh, studios here at Let the me event step center. Out here. Yeah, you could see it. Oh wow, that's a good, roughly ninety percent. There it is, just right above the banner. There it is. Can you see it? There's that break. Okay, here we go. There's a the break there. Yeah, oh, wow, that's neat. That's neat. Look at that. Downtown Beaumont right now, live southeast Texas. There are the breaks in the clouds at Patrick, at, at Carrie, at Jeff, and Jeremiah. The entire Storm Trucker team have just been saying, come on, let's do this. So there you have it. I think, I think we just lost that, but we've, uh, we've lost our feed. But okay. uh, you can nice, tell us, tell nice us break, happening. nice break over uh, downtown Beaumont right now. Yeah, we're we're a good ninety plus percent, I would say. Hey, Councilman Mike gets his passing. Oh wow, take some glasses. You need we. You gotta look. You gotta get glasses, sir. We've uh, we've lost our feed here downtown, but there I'm hoping y'all can see us. Control room, do you still have us? Filtered sunshine. Can you see that? We're getting okay, real we close are still to with max. You. We, we've lost our feed, but we'll continue the big broadcast because we're right who knows, at max. It could be, we should be there very we close. We're really close to max right now. Oh, we've got a good break now. Yeah, that's about as we've got maybe two minutes, but uh, we're pretty close to totality, or I should say maximum here, which is, I believe, 92.6%. That's and incredible. Say, yeah. Nice view. And we can Here's probably show you the, the pictures from uh, Jeff Gerber and our photojournalist Chandler Smith. They're on the other side of the event center. Jeff, do you want to take it away for just a second? We're going to reset here at the desk. Jeff, are you with us? We're continuing to watch it over here with all the, we're watching all the folks over here and uh, we're getting those breaks. You can see it now. Everybody's got their glasses on watching it. And as we were saying, this is about as covered as it's going to get for us. And luckily, we've been getting breaks right at the peak time. We had our fingers crossed all week long that this would happen. And we've been seeing those breaks right at the peak time. It's getting covered up again, but still we can see a little bit of it through the cloud cover. And all the school kids here are loving it. <laughs> They're laying on their backs watching it as uh, uh, it's going behind the clouds now, and looks like we might see a. It looks like we might see some cloud cover here for a, a minute or two, but uh, there we go. It's a little break. There's another one. So it's been spectacular out here. We lucked out really here in uh, down here at the at the event center. I didn't think we would see anything, and we've been seeing breaks through the whole thing, and now we've been we actually had a really couple of good breaks uh, here over the last uh, 10, 15 minutes where uh, we would see for a couple of minutes here and there of, uh, of some sun and some and the eclipse and the moon. But right now we're clouded over once and again. But uh, people are excited. Gosh, the kids are screaming. It was, it was so much fun as the, uh, we've been seeing some breaks. You guys have been missing out. Well, we decided we had to come over. <laughs> we decided we had to come over because this was, this was just too good to witness. We'll share the mic for a second because we're uh, resetting back at the main desk. We brought you glasses. You're good? I got some. I got some. Okay. Yeah. We love that the kids are out here. I mean, this was, this was such a special thing that the yeah. schools brought the buses. And not only kids were yelling, the older folks were <laughs> yelling as well. Everybody was like, yay! It was something. It's something to see. It really is. Yeah. You know, 142 is where we're supposed to be at it, at the highest. We're right, right at that right yeah. now. And like I said, right now we get the cloud cover a little bit. But there have been some breaks enough that you can see a little yeah. bit of it, yeah. yeah. It was a good break. Yeah. Y'all are killing me with the mic here. We'll, ta we'll talk one <laughs> at a time. We'll go. I'm having, I'm having solar, solar whiplash. <laughs> there we oh. go. There's the break. We'll put the glasses back up here. You can see it. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Can you hear the cheers? I hope. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the kids love it. Like I said, there's folks all in down here going, "Oh!" Ooh. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we really thought we were not going to see anything, and these little glimpses are amazing. They're great. I'm in awe. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> and we have to wait 20 more years for this. Oh my gosh! Patrick won't be around, but I plan on being around. <laughs> Aren't you all about the yeah. same age? <laughs> I'm a little older, actually. 
<laughs> All right, all the realities come out on the Great American <laughs> Eclipse Day. So again, if you're watching, we are live in downtown Beaumont. This is the magical moments uh, here approaching 1.45 Central Standard Time. This is the best we're getting here. Yeah, and which is not bad. No. No, it could, it could have been cloudy all day, or even could have been some rain. But the rain is held off. We're getting these little breaks, so we are seeing little peaks here and there. I think it's so neat to look up. He's trying to show Jeff the satellite. Yeah. I think it's so neat to be able to look yeah. up and, you know, yeah. we we did at least verify this thing's going on. Yeah. I mean, this is this is, we are we're on the same planet, the same eclipse. <laughs> Looks a little different than it does in the path of totality, yeah, but exactly. but this is going on. But and you have to be careful. You want to keep looking up when you see these breaks. Know, you Put, if you're at home, yeah. you're with the kids. Put the glasses back on before yeah. you do any up, up you know some looking and I should warn you we're seeing people hold their cameras up that's really you're supposed to cover them yeah. if you want to do yeah. take pictures with your phone yeah. so there's there's that part of this I keep trying to look up all right we'll do it we'll do it you can see Jeff I'm going to hand you the mic back we're going to see if we get everything situated back over there okay. and, and I'll let you take it over all right <laughs> Patrick's like I like it over here better <laughs> Well, this, those guys stopped by for a second. This is where all the action is anyway. You can see the kids are loving it. Lots of folks lined up here uh, looking at this, uh, the eclipse. Hold on, let's talk to this young lady. What do you think? I'm loving this so much, and the kids yelling every time they see that little sliver that comes up. It's just cracking me up. But, I mean, it is a historic event, and they've been pumped up. They've been learning about it. They know all the history. They know what it's about, and so to actually be out here and see it. Yeah. And with all these clouds today, every time, now look, it's, I mean, no, don't look, yeah. yeah. Put these on, yeah. and look. Look, there it is. It's actually, I mean, we're seeing more than we thought we were going to yeah, see, right? So, for sure. Yeah, like I said, it could be pouring down rain right now, <laughs> and we're seeing breaks in the overcast so we're actually I seeing know, early, so. thank goodness because all these people and all these kiddos you know bringing a bus load of kids here to, to check it out after they've learned about the science of it is just yeah. kind of fun that they're actually able to see something in the sky so yeah you look yeah. a little excited yourself I'm pretty excited I'm kind of like a little kid out here right <laughs> I can see it really well right now all right young lady thank okay. you for your inner, your <laughs> talking Thanks. to us <laughs> But yeah, they're all, we're all having a good time out here. Like I said, we're getting those peaks and you can see it. And uh, uh, let me look one more time. All right, let's send it back to you guys back over on the other side of the building there. And uh, I'm sure you're gonna have more from around the country. Oh yeah, Jeff, thank you so much. Yeah, we moved around the corner here just a bit. Some of the best images just in the past just, couple of seconds. Just in the last couple of seconds. There's a, a few breaks that are we're right at totality, or total, I keep saying totality, at its max, on, but let's, uh, I'm, let's, this is awesome. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna switch mics, hang on. We'll try this, take two. What it, what is, what's it like seeing this? Awesome, beautiful, it's just an experience maybe I'll never see again in my lifetime, and I'm so thankful to God that I can experience this. Reminds us how big the world is, how special this is. It's so special, very special. Yeah. And we're getting that glimpse oh, right yeah. now. Yes, I got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. How about some of some of y'all? What's it What's it feel like to see this? It's awesome. Watching God work. work. Yeah, see it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Well, I don't want. I don't want to interfere with this this magic moment so we'll let them let them watch in a second but as you see behind us we've got kids from Silsby and really just a, a really large group of the community that's come together and the cheers come because we're getting these breaks in the clouds and some of the best TV is watching Patrick Vaughn get his glimpse as well here all right we're gonna share mics how's that we're talking to this one. The, the sunlight looks almost alien-like, doesn't it? It looks weird as far as it's being filtered because of the of the clouds and also because of the uh, the eclipse. It's pretty fascinating. It is. It is. I thought we weren't supposed to photograph with the phone directly. Anyway. Oh, Patrick, pa when Patrick breaks the... Patrick, your mic's not working at all. All right, okay. we'll just get rid of this. Bye. Bye. Bye, microphone. You know, we move the set. We come live. We move... We'll, we'll get by. It's awesome. I'm really enjoying this. I really didn't think we'd see as much as we have. I think Jeff's standing by with some with some folks behind us. We're going to send it over to him. Jeff Gerber, take it away. 
Yeah, right now we're continuing to watch those breaks in the overcast, and every time, it's hilarious, every time that break comes over, the kids scream and yell, and it's fun. It's been fun out here. It's been really exciting. Uh, a lot of folks, look, everybody wave. There we go, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody's been having a great time. It's exciting watching the, the eclipse. Uh, we've been seeing, this, like I said, the sun playing peekaboo with us off and on. Uh, throughout the, the morning over the last hour or so. So it's been great that we've been actually a, able to see it. We didn't think we were going to see it this morning uh, because of the cloud cover, but finally it did break up a little bit. The showers have stayed away, at least here in Beaumont I'm talking about. Now there are some places up in the lakes where they're not seeing anything. There we go. There's, an, there's another break. So we're looking at, we're having some good, good times out here. Let's go back to Jordan and he's going to talk to a few folks. Hey, Jeff, thanks so much. Yeah, we've got some of our friends here. Tell us your names. Kinley. Kinley? Okay, what's your name? Mallory. Mallory, y'all came down to see this. You've got the special glasses. What did it feel like? What is, what is this like? I don't know. If you ever, you've, you've never, were you alive in 2017? No. no 16. Quite. She was 16. So okay, so she, you were like one. You, yeah. don't re you don't remember it. I'll tell you what, it's, it's pretty pretty amazing. You, you, my goal to, to make sure she was here to see, experience something like this. So of course they had school today, but this was something I felt like was concrete in her life to make sure she saw. I love nature and experience and the things that it shows us. I love that. We called it science in action. So okay. I like there's, that. There, there's schooling to be done here. Tell, tell us what it, what did it look like? Describe it. Um, red and like fire on it. You can kind of see the glow. <laughs> We've just, we've just passed sort of the maximum level here, but if you look in the background, people are looking up again because once again, we're seeing those sort of eerie orange shadows. Put your glasses back on. Yeah. Let's, see what, let's see what we got here. Wait, is it upside? Oh, like an orange red tent? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely an orange red tent, and it's actually getting a little bigger, which means we're past the maximum period. Patrick's good at, at estimating, our chief meteorologist, but he said it's going to you know, continue getting brighter and brighter as the shadow moves. Okay. That's awesome. I didn't know that actually. So, so um, what time? Do you know what time? We we just passed about five minutes ago. Was like the darkest oh, wait, it'll get. Oh, okay, gotcha. So That's it good. runs. I think you'll still be able to view it. Patrick, when's it wrap up? Three thirty. Three thirty, something like That's that. That's what I was okay. wondering. The Indian part. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm so glad to meet you all. I'm glad you could learn about science. Tell your teacher you were live on TV, <laughs> and you learned and you learned a lot. Nice, nice to meet Thank you, you all. Yeah, absolutely. So that kind of gives you a. a kind of gives you a, a glimpse of what we're experiencing down here as we celebrate the great American eclipse live just outside the Beaumont Event Center. A great crowd of parents, students, and some teachers uh, watching the action with us. Controller, I know, is just talking to me. Share, share where we're heading next. You're looking at some live pictures of the eclipse. We don't have our monitor out here with us, but we know what it looks like because now we've seen it with our eyes yeah, here. I think uh, the, the maximum that we're going to see here now is, is past, and so it's going to be winding down over the next hour or so. You used your favorite weather word, winding down. It's weather words, double yes. double words. Phrase. Um, weather phrase, yes, Patrick's weather phrases. But this is this has just been, it's been neat, it's been really a neat. a lot better than what we, uh, we were expecting. <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised, but uh, it, I'm glad it worked out. Or at least we were able to see uh, at least a few breaks in the clouds and able to see some glimpses. So if you've got friends across the country, the eclipse is on the move, you might say. Right. We're going through Arkansas. Many of you have seen the path of totality that's been tracked across the, the uh, we'll say, eastern U.S., northeastern U.S., because it's going to move across through Indiana, eventually up through the Great Lakes, and then into New England. Right, and into Maine, uh, northern Vermont, Ohio, Indiana. They were expecting crystal clear skies right. up there in northern and, New England. And North Texas is not bad. We saw earlier Kerrville had some great viewing. I feel like one of the things I'm waiting to see is uh, everybody in the path of totality, of course, is focused on the sun and the moon and, and, and watching for that, those images. But I want to see how dark it got. You know, some real life images of, of what it was like in, in Kerrville and I, Dallas. Right. I, I know we're not in totality, but uh, you, you, you can see it's gotten a little darker here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's, the, that's certainly the view that we wanted to bring you live from downtown Beaumont. Our thanks again to the friends from the Beaumont Public Library System who teamed up to help make yeah. this happen. Uh, Jeff Gerber is over behind us here on the other side of the event center talking with some of the folks there. Jeff, take it away. Yeah, we're continuing to watch the little breaks that come overhead and we're watching the eclipse. A couple of young ladies over here watching it. What would you think? 
it looks cool and it's like really bright. Yeah, well make sure you keep those glasses. What'd you think? I thought it looked a lot like a smile <laughs> and it just looked really pretty. It did look pretty, didn't it? Yeah, at least we got to see some of it. You guys were excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, what'd you think of it? I thought since this is a once in a lifetime event, it was so cool and I cannot wait for the next one. Yeah, you'll be a lot older then, yep. like in 20 years. 20, 30, maybe even. I think he's gonna be maybe even more, yeah. All right, well, thanks for talking to us all. You continue to watch, we're still seeing it. Put those glasses on. All right, yeah, we're having a good time out here. Uh, looks like the sky's even breaking up even a little bit more. So uh, we're going to continue to watch it until it ends. So we still got to about 3 o'clock. We still got a little over an hour for the official end of the whole thing. I think it's like a 3.02. So uh, we'll continue to see these breaks in the overcast and watch watch the uh, the shadow kind of move back across the, the uh, sun. And we'll start to see a little bit more sunlight. But it looks like the street lights are still on a little bit. So it's still a little bit darker than it was earlier. And uh, it's been a great event out here. Like I said, we'll continue to watch it, but it's been a lot of fun. Let's go back over to those guys, uh, Jordan and uh, Patrick. Jeff, thanks so much. Yeah, you talk about it, it being a little darker. I mean, you, you definitely sense that this was, this was magical. It was different. That's right. Uh, Brenda Matuti, our uh, other anchor on it evenings, She's up in Dallas right now, and she sent me just a picture of the totality in Dallas. Great picture. I know she wanted to be up there, so this is this is a neat opportunity. Yeah. We're glad she could witness that. And we look forward to sort of hearing hearing more stories because uh, you kind of run out of adjectives. Right. Um, I know so many people drove to Central Texas and North Texas. Many, many repositioned over the last couple of days because you know, we're really able to, to give us a good glimpse of, of what things would be like with the clouds. I'm just curious as how the traffic has all managed to, uh, oh, there we go. I wonder how traffic has been in uh, Central and North Texas this afternoon. We talked, we talked about that, how TxDOT wanted people to pull over and not try and okay. look up and drive. We're and getting a good, good break. Look, look at the sunshine here. Oh, wait. I wonder if we can see in the uh, see the eclipse in the uh, shadows of the uh, trees. I don't see it. I think it's because of the clouds, and it's usually you can see. Okay, here we go. Kind of makes a crescent it shape, right? It makes crescents underneath the uh, the trees, and I don't see it today because I don't think the sun is strong enough with the clouds to keep that from happening. But still, we are getting some nice breaks. Uh, this afternoon, which allow us to see some pretty good glimpses of the uh, the eclipse, which just uh, was at maximum about uh, about what 14 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're going to be continuing to bring more sun back in over the next uh, hour or so. Okay, we have just a couple of minutes left in the in the broadcast here, but our coverage will continue throughout the day here on 12 News. We wanna let you know about that as we share some of the sights and sounds from around Southeast Texas. Uh, these are live pictures from NASA uh, cameras in Carbondale, Ooh, Illinois. Look at that, great conditions for viewing that total eclipse. That's where the, they're going to totality right over Illinois. That's where it's it's quickly heading off to the north and east. Uh, through the Midwest now. Didn't you say it was moving at a thousand miles an hour? At the equator, but as you get higher in latitude, the, the shadow appears to go faster because uh, your latitude is increasing. See, 5,000 miles per hour, I believe. So it's gonna move actually quicker away from Texas and from Arkansas even quicker to Ohio, at least the apparent view right now. Okay. Let's see, I keep looking to see if we can see any crescents. <laughs> Patrick is on the move. In 2017, uh, if you were able to look underneath the tree with the uh, sun, okay, there's a little bit, well, it's hard to say, but you could see the crescents underneath the uh, the, the uh, tree limbs uh, I on the ground, the shadows. I remember that. Yeah. Do we want to check back in with Jeff really quickly before we before we wrap up the show here? I know he's been with some of the students out here. Jeff, you, we've got a, just about two minutes left in the show, so we're going to do a quick check in with Jeff Gerber and uh, photojournalist Chandler Smith over here on the other side of the event center lawn. Yeah, me and Chandler's been having a great time with the kids, and look at their bus, they're from Silsby. So they came all the way down from Silsby uh, to watch the event, and it's winding down a little bit now, but they're still kind of over there watching a little bit, and we still have some folks scattered here uh, at the event center watching as we continue to see the breaks pop up here and there. So it's been a great event. Like I said, we were not too... Uh, 
thinking we were going to not see much of it at all this morning, but just in the nick of time, clouds broke up and we got to see uh, most of it really. And we continue to watch it as skies are really breaking up a little bit here right now. So it's been a fun morning out here, a fun afternoon. Uh, I'm sure Patrick has been excited about this whole thing, watching those shadows. <laughs> he has, Jeff. He's got his glasses.